ready for the weekend. <laughs> the wings. Six, seven, eight, eight. Of course, yes, I did get a special delivery from him. I don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Just lay in it. Spin all day in My hitters don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They take it. I'm okay with it. It's me, it's me, they're okay with it. What's up, besties, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, we do have a sponsor. Shout out to Yiana Shapewear for sponsoring today's video and sending me some pieces to show you guys. So y'all, we are about to get cute and go to a little date night. So I'm gonna show you the perfect shapewear pieces to wear underneath your outfits. So guys, this is the first one. This is the sculpting bodysuit. I did get all of my items in a large slash extra large. If you're unsure about the sizing, they do have a size chart available so you can make sure you get the perfect size that fits your body. So I love this y'all. Y'all already know I have a small waist, I have bigger hips, but this literally just gives me shape, body, it holds everything in. Y'all know I have gained a little bit of weight. We're trying to get it off for the new year, but this is something that just sucks and holds everything in. It is a thong, so we definitely appreciate that. So you don't have any lines if you do decide to wear this with a dress or even with jeans, you won't see that line of demarcation in your item. Y'all, this fits so good. It is just, it snatches. It is snatching me in. So let me go ahead and try this on with a dress and I'll be right back. This is how the bodysuit looks underneath one of my dresses. You can't even tell that I have shapewear on. And I've told you guys a few times, I have had a tummy tuck. So there's a line that I can see in my tight clothes when I wear them. I can see my tummy tuck line. With this, it literally smooths it out. I don't see any type of line on my stomach. Everything is nice and smooth. I'm snatched and of course it's super comfortable. Okay, next item, this is the sculpting bodysuit with shorts. Just to show you guys how little it comes, it looks tiny, like it does not look like this is gonna fit me, but y'all just wait till I put it on and you are gonna see the transformation. And this is how the shorts look. As you can see, I am still snatched in the middle. But the good thing about this item is if you have problems with your thighs, it sucks those in too. It holds everything in place so you don't have to worry about your jiggle. You don't have to worry about it being seen underneath your clothes because everything is so seamless. And what I love about it is, as you see the behind part, it's a thinner fabric, so it doesn't smash your booty. It actually lifts the booty up, if you can see and it just keeps everything looking flawless. So this one does come in this nude color. It also comes in black and it's just, it's super comfortable. Okay, and lastly, we have the t-shirt bodysuit. Once again, it's holding everything in. It has the tummy control. This one also is a thong, so you don't have to worry about any lines showing. It's super stretchy and comfortable. I do appreciate that I don't have to wear a bra with this one. I can just throw on a pair of jeans. Everything is being held up in place. Stomach is flat and it has a really sexy neckline. So let's go ahead and try this on with a pair of jeans so we can see how the full outfit looks. All right, so it's paired with some high rise denim jeans. As you can see in the back, everything looks smooth. All I gotta do is put on a pair of shoes, grab my bag and I have an entire outfit and I am snatched. I need this in other colors. Yiana, y'all need to make this in like a variety of colors because this looks good. So if you guys are in the market for some high quality shapewear with tummy control and it's not gonna break the bank, definitely check out Yiana. I will have all the information down below, the links, my sizes, everything. Make sure you shop with them so you can be looking your best when you step out. Once again, thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, y'all, let's get into this vlog. Let me finish my whole look. See what jewelry I'm about to put on, what shoes I'm about to put on so I can go out the door. Good morning. Uh-oh. Oh, y'all wobbling. Y'all, oh. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, 
I usually don't wobble this much. I'm, that's weird. Let me scoot it. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's wobbling though. But anyways, good morning. Happy Monday. We're starting off our weekly vlog. I've already went to training this morning. I'm just leaving from Land Rover. I was about to get my yearly service done, but they have raised the price by almost double. Y'all know having a luxury car is very expensive. I get that. I've, I've driven luxury cars for many, many years. Last year, last year, I bought the basic service package. Because with these cars, you only have to go in once a year for um, service, aka oil change. And of course, it's an oil change with like tire rotation. They top off fluids. They check your brakes. Um, they like balance your tires. They put more air in your tires. Y'all know, like a, the basic, basic package was almost $900. I think I paid $860 last year. This year, 12 months later, $1,415. How y'all go from $860, which is crazy expensive already. I know y'all gonna be like, God, dog, no, for oil change? Yes. I, I, I paid almost $900 last year and now it's over $1,400 I understand inflation but not that much an additional $600 like I told them I said oh I'll be going somewhere else it, it, they said it won't affect my warranty it doesn't affect anything so I can go somewhere else <laughs> I'm I, no so I'm actually about to make an appointment with um there's this guy who works out at the gym that I work out at, that I train at. We actually have the same personal trainer. Shout out Yada Fitness. <laughs> but um, yeah, he owns a car service shop. Body repair, car service, they do all that. So I'm about to try to make an appointment at his shop. It's a little bit further away than I wanted to drive, but I, I probably will be saving $1,000 shoot even if i even if they quote me the same price that i play, paid range rover last year i'll pay y'all eight hundred dollars i'm not paying fourteen hundred over fourteen hundred i'm not i'm not doing it that's nuts i'm sorry but anyways guys i was just checking in i need to mail off the stuff to the winners congratulations to the people the three people who won um my giveaway the first giveaway was two winners second giveaway was one winner congratulations to them i need to mail those packages off i have a czar return see if i had to know my day was gonna go like this i would have just brought everything with me so i don't have to drive all the way back home and y'all know how it is once you drive all the way back home it's like damn bitch i might as well just stay here cabo bob's burritos mm, i wonder how that tastes i ain't gonna do it though we're at Old Navy. I have a gift card. So I'm like, let me just come here and spend some money. This wasn't on the agenda, but hey. Maybe I'll just buy like the kids something with the gift card. I literally don't need anything like <sighs> nothing. But my kids are so like stuck on Nike that they like don't want nothing else. Chocolate brown tank top for 97 cents sweater tank tops they got brown they got a bluish gray $2.97 now this is cute it's one one arm in one arm out and it's a nice thick material for $4.49 so y'all check your local Old Navy they got some deals going on y'all this tank top is $0.47 cents. $0.47 cents. yes I'm buying it do I need it no but I'm gonna buy it for $0.47 cents. So what do y'all think about buying the Christmas matching Christmas pants now for next year? They're $2.97. They have an extra large tall, which is my size. And I can buy them for the kids and we can already just have them for like matching pictures. They even have these, look, $2.97. Hmm. If they have smalls for the kids, then I might buy it. They got the shorts for $1.97. Baby, when I tell you I cleaned up at Old Navy, I cleaned up. So we're about to do a car haul. I have not done a car haul in a minute. Give me some gum. I still have not had any food. I need to eat. 
It's 12.15. I was in there for over two hours. Crazy. So I did buy the entire family. <laughs> Matching. Well, I got me and Jennifer shorts. I said, me and Jennifer, I said, you my best friend? We taking pictures in shorts, okay, this year for Christmas. But I got my family pants. So we'll take our Christmas pictures <laughs> in these nice little pants me and jennifer got matching shorts so we'll do our best friend pictures and then i also got i also got matching red ones for our family <laughs> they were 297 y'all 297 they only had um three pairs which is fine because Ashton or Ethan, they got a red pair this year and those were oversized. Um, well, I mean, last year in 2022, those were oversized that they wore to school. And I don't remember which kid got them, Ashton or Ethan. But anyways, I got a pair for me, an adult pair for Byron, and then another uh, extra small kids pair for whoever doesn't have theirs, so. We'll have uh, pictures in Santa pants and then pictures in our plaid pants. They also had the matching um, red plaid tops for $2.97. But I was like, that's doing a lot. We'll just wear black tank tops with ours. And next, I got me some denim shorts to wear on vacation. Y'all, these shorts were $5.99. Let me back out some. I feel like I'm too close. $5.99 distressed denim shorts button fly i like the way a button fly looks on vacation opened up y'all know that i had just bought those mother denim jeans on clearance for 70 dollars. they look just like this they look exactly like this and i got these for 5.99 straight for vacation then i got three pairs for jennifer i said i gotta take care of my girl so i got her a white pair these were $1.47. These were $5.99, so she'll have the matching ones like me, $5.99. And then I got her a light blue pair. These were $2.97. These are a little bit longer, and these are non-stretched, but I thought she could wear them like rolled up. I think this would be cute. Me personally, she could wear it rolled up like that. And then if she wanted to have them open or closed or however she want to do. So I bought myself this tank dress. Am I gonna wear it? Probably not, I don't know. Um, I might wear like a bomber jacket over top of it. I really don't know. It was $2.97, it's a bright yellow color, super stretchy, I don't know. <laughs> then these are just little tanks I could wear around the house with like shorts. These were 47 cents. These, it's the tag says 97, but they rang up for 47. So I got chocolate brown, then I also got gray, and then I also got a light, a lighter color brown. All of these were 47 cents. I got some pants. These are some, what is it called? Y'all, what's this material called? Linen, linen pants. Y'all, these linen pants, they're a size large, tall, they look like they're going to fit. Hopefully they do. I probably needed an extra large tall, but all they had was a large tall, $1.97. How cute for vacation with the straw bag, some raffia sandals, just like a little white tank top tied up like $1.97. I said, oh, I can't pass these up. It probably even kind of matches this 47 cent shirt. Could I wear these together? I probably could wear them together. A whole outfit for under $3. Yeah. Wow. Then I just got me a red turtleneck. I was in my closet the other day. I'm like, I don't have anything red. I literally had, had that one red crop sweater. That's it. I have nothing else red in my closet. I don't have red leggings. I don't have red. Oh, I do have like a little cropped red tank top. Stretch, super stretchy. It was $2.97. So I got this. I'm like, just wear this with some jeans. Maybe a leather blazer over top of it for like a cold day look. I don't know. A plain turtleneck for $2.97 I'm that can go with anything okay next I got me just some gray leggings I do like that they're a stirrup at the bottom so they are these are just called cozy core high-rise leggings these were 5 dollars 
Okay, then I found two pair of jeans for Ashton. I, I have never bought her Junior's jeans before, so I don't even know if these are going to fit. But this pair is a size 2 short. Maybe I should have got her a 0. I don't know. They're a size 2. Look how tiny these are. I feel like they're going to fit her, but we'll see. These were $5.91. And then these are also a size 2 short. And they rang up for $9. Oh, I got myself another pair of workout leggings. I forgot I got these. These were really cute. Are these maternity? Oh, no, they're just high rise. So these are just some um, size large leggings that have gray and white print on them. These were $5.99. I wish I could feel this material. This material is so nice. They had a lot of workout leggings on sale for like 4 and $5. A whole lot. I don't need any more. That's why I just bought these two. But they had a ton. Okay, now here goes the random stuff that I bought. They have skin tone band-aids. <laughs> Skin tone band-aids originally $6 on clearance for $1.49. So I'm going to give this one to Jennifer. And then these two I'm going to take home. Because I feel like that might be my skin tone. That's like Ethan's skin tone. And they didn't have anything lighter. Like for Ashton, she can wear the regular universal band-aids. Y'all know. So I'm put this in Jennifer's bag. Y'all know Old Navy sells candy at the front. So these are Nerds Ropes nerds ropes they were 40 47 cents each so i bought these and then they had a burt's bees um i guess this is considered like christmas so it has a chapstick in here it has a chapstick and then a let me show y'all a cuticle cream lemon butter cuticle cream let me make sure this is chapstick yeah so chapstick cuticle cream it says originally $7 and I got it for $1.49. He has also had like little Christmas hand um hand lotions for like $2. I'm like, I don't need any more. So I didn't get them. So guess what I'm about to do now? <laughs> Can y'all guess? I'm about to go to another Old Navy. It's another one literally right by my house. So I'm about to go to that one. And then take my butt home. I didn't bring y'all in with me, but I did go to another Old Navy. <laughs> so anyways, those bandages that I showed you guys in the um, the last clip, which would be like two seconds ago for y'all. Remember I said they were $1.47? They were actually 47 cents. So I did look back at my receipt and they were 47 cents, even though they were marked $1.47. So anyways, I bought two more. These were actually marked at this location. So I bought two more, another one for my house, another one for Jennifer. So these are like some pajama pants that I'm going to be sleeping in for myself. Just some around the house pajama pants. These were $2.97. They had full sets. Remember I showed you guys the other pants from the other location. They were $2.97 each. This is the full set, the top and the pants for $2.97. And they had the black and white plaid and they had another um, Christmas print. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and pick that up. Then I found another pair of these uh, pants in a size small for the kids. I don't know how many smalls that I have right now. So if I have a, like too many, then I can just give some to Jennifer and her daughter so they can do pictures. And then lastly, I found two more pairs of jeans for Ashton. These are a size two petite. These were $3.97. And then... These are some regular kids' jeans. They're just pull-on kids' jeans. They were $8.99. So, yeah, y'all, they had um, boots, like winter boots. Some for $6.97, some for $8.97, and they had my size. They had nines and tens, and I was like, oh, my God, I want to get them just because of the price. But we said we're not doing that this year. We're not just buying because the price is right. I know that that style of boot, I wouldn't have bought. They're Chelsea boots. Y'all know Chelsea boots are so, like, on trend. So they had light brown and they had dark brown. Well, like, medium brown. Light brown and medium brown. I'm like, $6.97, $8.97? I know I'm not going to wear If I was, like, working a job to where I dressed business casual, I'd probably get them. But I just know they're not going to get anywhere for my lifestyle now. So, y'all, they also gave me super cash to spend in the next few days. So... I will be back, probably at a different Old Navy. But y'all, these Christmas pajamas, that was a good deal. I'm, I'm glad that I found those, plus the Band-Aids. 
Like these were like really worth it because these Christmas pajamas that you only wear for what? two three weeks out the year some people don't even wear them they just take pictures of them and that's it to get them for 2.97 like that's a good deal and watch when y'all see my vlog in december y'all gonna be like oh yeah gina she sure did find those for dirt cheap y'all gonna be like dang man i should have done the same thing when she told me to and i'm gonna be looking at you like this and you and you should have you should have yeah mm-hmm Excuse my leggings, I just wanted to try them on, but y'all look at these jeans, $5 to wear on vacation. They fit very nicely. And y'all know, this is how I wear mine to kind of show my bathing suit. So this is just, I'd wear it just down like this. Pull them up, of course, high rise. Might put like a little slit right here. Yes. And then I also tried on those linen pants, the linen pants that were $1.47. Those fit really nicely. I'm going to wear them with that tan shirt that I got for 47 cents. I'm going to have a full... Let me show Excuse me? Excuse me. A whole outfit for vacation for $2? Yes. Yes and thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know y'all tired of hearing about Old Navy. So far, we've only talked about Old Navy, so... I'm about to go. I also bought a cute little ring. It's too big. Y'all know I got really tiny fingers, but Old Navy does have really cute jewelry. So I got this ring. It's a size medium. It's a little bit too big for my first finger. Y'all see that it just slides up and down. I tried on the extra small rings and the extra smalls fit my uh, ring finger perfectly, but they didn't have this style in extra small. So, and it was only $7, but I think that's so cute. Isn't that cute? I said I was gone, but I lied, I'm back. So these are the $300 jeans from Saks that I got for $70 on clearance. These jeans are from Old Navy that I, what's the difference? What's the difference? Both button fly, both have like distressing, both have this little thing by the pocket, both have the little brass buckle, uh, uh, not buckles, rivets. <laughs> What, what's the difference the the $300 ones don't stretch these have a slight stretch to them they are a little bit longer which is fine with me because the inside of my thighs that's my problem area what what I want to take these back but they were final sale I'm mad I'm mad I'm mad they were final sale <sighs> okay relax children it's okay it's all right you live and you learn. That's what I just have to tell myself. We can't um, change what is already done. We cannot change what is already done. So there's no reason of being upset about it. But, oh, maybe y'all need to sponsor me. Like, because I already know my besties are about to bring y'all a bunch of money. I already know my besties is about to go shopping, shopping. Hello there. How are you doing today, motherfucker? I'm at um, Ashton's practice. The kids are already inside. They've already been inside for, what time is it? For 10 minutes. And I've been scrolling the gram for at least 10 minutes. But I'm about to get my keister up out the car, go inside this here building, get a little editing done, watch my baby practice, and then skedaddle. Right up, up, up out of here. Yep. Ugh. So lazy. I don't feel like even walking. <laughs> Come on, ho. Come on, heifer. You got this. Put your purse over your shoulder. Grab your stuff. Grab your root and tis and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You got your camera in your hand already. You got your computer right here. We're gonna leave the water right there because we don't need the water running through us while we in this building, so we don't have to use this bathroom that these little kids done have toilet paper and pee pee on the toilet and stank up and got water all over the ground. No, we don't want to use a bathroom that these little kids done used, so the water's gonna stay right on here. All right, do I need to bring my charger? Uh, let's go ahead and pack her in the purse just in case. Okay, let's get your hiney up on up out of here. Let go. Y'all, this is like Valentine's Day on steroids. Oh my God. Just look at that. 
What about something like this? Oh my god! I want to get these. These are so good. Can we get this? Can we get this for us, please? You got money. You can buy it. This will be your Valentine's Day gift for me. <laughs> please, mommy. How much are they? A Valentine's Day gift for his teacher, but he's having trouble. Me and Ashley said just get her chocolate cup of strawberries. He said she don't like chocolate. Skittles, flowers. Flowers for your teacher? I would never. I would never. I'd be so embarrassed. Here, I'm an M's and stuff right here. It's right here. You gotta get off your phone and look. This boy is so out of it. So like unenthused. Look at little sister helping big brother. It's crazy how there's still a shortage on baby formula after all these months. This is my basket, some low carb meals, some soup, kids snacks. Ethan's doing a gift card for his teacher with candy. Hey y'all, I'm home, obviously. When I say y'all I'm tired, I am tired. I, I just have not had any time to even sit down. When I just took my sneakers off for the first time today. Like I'm tired, my feet hurt, like I'm just, it's a lot. I'm about to hop in the shower. I think I'm about to do my full skincare routine. Now that I'm able to do everything, y'all, I have just been doing so much skincare, like so, so, so much. So I think I'm about to do that and then Basketball Wives came back out today. I think this is part two of the season that ended like a year ago. It's so weird the way that they cut it off. But yeah, this is part two. It just started back up today. So after I get out the shower, I'll probably just lay down and watch that and then go to bed. Hope you enjoyed today. See y'all tomorrow or the next day or... You know how it go. What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Taco Tuesday. You know, not, not everybody celebrates Valentine's Day. Y'all might just be celebrating what you're going to eat later on, okay? But yes, it's Valentine's Day, the day for lovers, day for men to show their appreciation to their woman. Let me stop because we gonna show, we show our love to our men too, okay? I got a big old, big old gift for mine in the room, so I show love back too. And I don't feel like a day is just for women. You got to reciprocate the love the gifts the affection all that so y'all have already had my car since 9 15 this morning and it's almost two o'clock not we ain't doing that so yes yeah, sign me up for next week so anyway i'm about to call me a lift and go get my vehicle go get the kids that's already an additional 50 dollars because coming here was 22 dollars and i gave a four dollar tip and then going Oh, excuse me, going back, I'm gonna assume it's around the same price. I really hate when the kids put the ice maker on crushed. Why? I hate crushed ice. I really hate crushed ice. Crushed ice just melts quicker than regular ice. It's a little bit late to be drinking coffee, but my body, if, as long as I drink my coffee before 3 p.m., then I'm good. It's, it's, it's consuming coffee after that. That be messing me up. I be looking like a psychopath at 1 o'clock in the morning. Up, eyes wide open, looking at the ceiling. That's better. Still a little sweeter than I like, but it's, it's better. So yeah, this is the outfit, guys. Just my cropped Givenchy shirt that I got for like 70% off. This shirt was like almost $800. I think I got it for like 200. Then these are just some high rise skinny jeans that I got from a store here in Houston. Then my Balenciaga sneaker. Can y'all see? No? My jeans tight and I ain't flexible. <laughs> and then my yellow Givenchy bag. Y'all see the shirt? Girl got cute to go every bit of nowhere. This side though, y'all will be seeing this again. Oh, I'm about to say, this is the same lift driver that I had coming home this morning. It's not though. They look alike, but the name is different. Y'all always do, if you can, always do the save and wait with lift. 
So it gave me the option for $26 to wait 12 minutes or save and wait, which would be $19. It said wait for 20 minutes. I always do that one because I save some money. It says he's arriving in nine minutes. In nine minutes. So I save money. Yeah, they, whenever it tells you 20 minutes, it's never, ever, ever 20 minutes. I'm back inside Old Faithful. Hey, they didn't got me right. I'm back in my car. But since we are on Almeda, we are going to, if you're from Houston, then you already know, the famous Pyburns. Can y'all see that? Oh, y'all can't see that. Hold on. Let me adjust the camera. We are at Pyburns Food Market. This is what Pie Burns look like. It's a grocery store. It's, it's really a market for real, for real, for real. I'm about to go ahead and see if they got oxtails. We gonna see if they ain't got no oxtails, then I'm gonna take my butt on. The oxtails from Whole Foods was good, but they was, I think Pie Burns might have a better deal. So anyways, we're looking for oxtails and that's it. We might go next door to Country Cupboard. Cause if you know, you know, Country Cupboard has that good ass a boudin, boudin balls, wings. They got everything. Like it's so good. But I'm not gonna uh, vlog inside of Pie probably because, mm, yeah, just know. They're a little bit too fatty, y'all. I don't like all the fat that's on them. So we'll stick to Whole Foods. Wines, pork chop, egg roll, I don't know what that is, boudin, chicken strips. Okay, I'm ready. What's these right here? That's like chicken and cheese, right? Chicken and cheese. I'm texting Jennifer to see if she wants. She said, I'll have one, one boudin bowl. It's for what? These are regular and spicy boudin? What's the difference? The spice is mild. You said spicy and mild? Uh huh. Okay, so I'll take a. Uh, Four boudin balls too. I'm highly disappointed. Country Cupboard is like a Southside Houston staple. If you know, you know. I mean, my mom used to, when we was little, little, my mom used to drive all the way to Country Cupboard and get us some food. I have not had Country Cupboard in years just because I don't go on that side of town, you know? I spent almost $20. Wings, boudin balls, Boudin balls were not good at all. No flavor at all. It literally tastes like I was eating a rice ball. Where, wh where's the flavor? Maybe I should have got the spicy one, I don't know. But the mild one should have some type of flavor. The wings. The wings. The wings taste like a combination of everything that they had fried. I don't know if they just share the same grease. I don't know if the flour that they use is just old. And y'all, it was not good. Maybe my palate has just changed because I don't really eat it hole in the wall food places anymore. Um, usually, Typically, those are the places that have like the best food, you know? No. No, 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 no. I, I can't. I'm gonna ask Jennifer. Jennifer wants some booty, and maybe I'll just drop them off to her job. Maybe she'll like them. I don't know. I did not like them. Booty balls had no flavor in it. And them chicken wings tasted like chicken things because that, the, that, that flavor, the flavor of the wing, this is gonna sound crazy, but. It's, it makes sense. The way it smelled inside of there is how the wings taste. It's weird, but as soon as I pulled it out and I smelled it, I'm like, this smells like the place that I just bought it from. And then when I bit it, I'm like, it tastes like that. It tastes like the air of I the didn't understand that. The hell? Please say a command. Bitch, I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. Uh. Ethan Ashton, come here. Downstairs. Downstairs, yes, please come downstairs. Okay, then don't come. Then don't come. Ethan, you come downstairs. Is that the no. 
No, so your sister's being lazy? Say yes, I don't have a favorite child. Your sister's just being lazy. Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. I don't want to be Whoa! Happy Valentine's Day. Jeez. Gummies. I'm going to try it. Ethan doesn't want to be on camera. Y'all know I was going to make them baskets with candy and stuff. This one, we had to buy a huge bag of candy yesterday and we have so much left over. And she came home with a huge bag of candy. So we, we candied out. I said the best thing kids want is cash money. So you rock. You did. She got a little, she got a little bag of candy. They each got the same thing with some money. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. And this one right here. No. This um, one. Please. Don't tell them? No. Okay. Mm. Oh, that is like pretty pale. I ain't go. It does taste like it? Your viewers don't have to know everything. They don't have to know everything, so we'll, I'll keep it a secret. I'm, it's it's between us. <laughs> and no, oh, wait. Wow. Like, yeah. I'm funny, Dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> it tastes exactly like the cereal. <laughs> Wow, y'all. This tastes exactly like the cereal. Y'all know it is Taco Tuesday, so y'all know I make ground turkey tacos. So to get them to taste as close to beef, beef as possible, I just add Worcestershire and then smokehouse sauce. This is what I do. If you like the taste of ground turkey tacos, which I don't have anything against it, it tastes good. But I would just prefer ground turkey to taste like ground beef when it comes to tacos, you know? So this definitely, this does help. You could also mix um, beef broth in there with it to help with the beef flavor. But this, these two together, I mean, in my eyes, it's like perfection. And then, of course, y'all know we try to do most things salt-free. So I have Fiesta Lime, Mrs. Dash. The onion and herb, Mrs. Dash. These are zero sodium. And then I just use a little bit of taco seasoning and then garlic and onion. And if anybody's wondering why I am not with my boyfriend today on Valentine's Day, he travels for work. Like he's gone. He be gone. Like gone, gone for work. So we'll be celebrating this weekend. So course yes i did get a special delivery from him i didn't show you guys i just want to keep aspects of my relationship private i just hope you guys understand my last relationship everything was on everything was on social media every gift every trip every dinner every everything i just i don't want to have this relationship to be like that i want us to have our our thing you know so there's gonna be many din dinners that you guys don't see. There's gonna be gifts exchange that you guys don't see. Um, like I said, I have a whole huge gift bag of stuff for him. And so I just, I'm just keeping certain stuff private and then certain stuff in the open, so. And another thing, just while on that subject, um, like I said, my ex, he was like, always on my channel and stuff and everything well for one i mean for one we live together and i vlog my life and we live together so it was inevitable he was going to be on there a lot but it just when it came to the time of like i don't know it's like i felt like i had to explain things about our relationship i had to explain certain yeah like certain things of our relationship and i'm just like I don't, I didn't like that, you know? I didn't like that I felt like I have to say this or I have to say that or I have to make, let them understand this. Like, you know, I, I, I let you into my life. Literally, you guys know, like, of course not 100%, but y'all know, I would say y'all know probably about a good 65, 70% of my day-to-day -day when I vlog, you know, so. You don't really get to see like the interactions that I have with like my friends on, on a regular basis, my sister on a regular basis. Like I said, I condense so much stuff down that it's like, if y'all ever, cause I know y'all used to ask me, Gina, what happened to so-and-so? Y'all not cool to me? I'm like, yeah, we talk all the time. You just don't see them. Like, then when me and my ex fiance broke up, I had to like explain what happened. Like, I was just like, this is so weird that I have to, literally open this wound back up i have to revisit <laughs> why we broke up you know so some stuff that i made 
mention on here that you might not ever hear about ever, ever again. I know y'all went with me um, when I met my dad for the first time. I told you guys the whole story about that. And I don't even talk about my dad anymore on here. I talked to him. I was just on the phone last night. <laughs> you know, he is still very much a part of my life. We still talk on a regular basis, but I don't want to bring, especially people who are not like on social media, in the social media eye, like I don't want to bring them on my channel. And then I feel like their business is also being presented, you know? So my boyfriend, he's not like, he doesn't even post on so like he's not a social media person he don't really post he be watching like tiktoks and stuff but he's just he's not a social media person you know my sister used to not ever want to be on camera y'all remember them days about like two years ago she never wanted to be on camera so i would respect that now she does she's like you're not blogging what camera what camera you're not blogging because there's a lot of times we'll go out to eat and i just don't bring my camera with me and she'd be like what a camera you know so anyways just know that i love you guys I hope that you guys love me and respect me enough to not feel offended if it's something that I keep to myself, okay? I shouldn't even have to explain that, you know? I'm a human. Y'all watch me, but I'm a human. I got feelings too, so. Excuse the five head, y'all. But look at my little helper. <laughs> y'all know I am so used to... One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, eight. <laughs> you know what? It'll be your own kids. It'll be your own kids. I'm like, I'm like, ain't no way she has a smaller forehead than me. No, my forehead is definitely bigger than yours for sure. Like wait, wait, three. hold on. Don't that why that look like it's getting tangled? I don't know what that <sighs> please go move do this. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. I do not know. You said what, Jennifer? I said that scratch feels so good. Oh yeah, that braid scratch be. That bra yeah, this braid that scratch braid be. braid scratch. <laughs> mm. Oh Lord. Oh my God, that feels so good. Ooh. <laughs> Man, you got some inches. Oh, you lost some hair right here. It's fine. We shed hair, so that's normal. But dang, she got some inches. I got some inches. I got inches. Like, I got inches. Did you show them that photo when I had my hair down like that? You just gotta put some product. Put some product in it because yeah. it's looking dry. Yeah. I'm not used to this. Get used to it. I'm I'm going to. She's getting used to it tomorrow because she's getting her hair done tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm getting my hair yep, done. She got it. Hold up, that's not even a break for your hair. Dang, dang. Wish your hair some luck because. Mm -mm. It's called a protective style, ma'am. A protective style. I know, but then you're going to have that wig on. Like, like your hair not go bring it no breaks. Like, I can't do that. My hair's sick. I guess my hair does need a break at some point. Yeah, your hair needs a break because you you be taking these braids out today. You should have, like, took them out tomorrow to give you more of a break. you only getting one night's sleep of a break and then. Get your hair back in. When you do your hair like that, you don't need a break. As long as you're not putting stress on it. Right. If you were putting like uh, extensions on it, then you would need to take it out and let it break. But done. We're done. What if I wear my hair like this? I did most of the work. She did do most of the work. What if I wear my hair like this? Is this be cute, y'all? Or Ashton? Let me ask Ashton. Ashton, would this be cute? If I picked you up from school and my hair was like this. Yes, but like put some stuff in it. Her and just put some product in it. Put some product in it. I know, baby. See how it looks in a. Heck no. No, look, if I put my hair in like a little puff on top, it'll be like this. My hair is like too big for a puff. Look how huge it is. That's like. That's too much. We're back. I'm washed. So. I'm gonna cut my ends. My hair is just in two twists. I'm gonna cut my ends. This is how they look. They look very healthy. I don't even think they really need to be cut, but that's just what I do after every single wash. This is not professional. Y'all don't have to tell me, Jim, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I wear wigs. 
99.999% of the time. So my hair is braided down under. So I'm not worried about having a perfect trim as long as it's getting trimmed. Capiche? Okay. So I just pull it. And how long is that? Yeah. That's it. That's what I cut. A cute little curl. Excuse my nails. These nails did not last. I don't know. The, I, I, I don't know what happened. They did not last though. So I only had these nails on for like two days. So weird. So my hair is like really, really detangled already. I'm going to go through it with this wet detangling brush. This works so good. This works so good. This works so good on natural hair. This works so good. I could link it down below. They were on Amazon two for like $7, something like that. So Ashton keeps one in her basket. I keep one in my room. I love this. So anyways, um, I might pick y'all back up once my hair is blow dried. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm just leaving from the gym. I do have my hair appointment today. So I'm trying to gauge whether I can go home, shower and change, or if I just need to go straight there, grab some coffee and then go straight there. I just live so freaking far from everything. Like, ugh. but uh, I was just checking in with y'all. Nothing spectacular, nothing going on this morning, except for me about to go get this uh, good old unit put on and I'm gonna get back to looking like Gina. But last night when I did my hair, well not did it, but washed it and stuff, I'm like, I really need to get a silk press. I need to do a video of me getting a silk press and then another video of me getting like a, not a diva cut. I think I have too much hair for a diva cut, right? I think my hair is too big and too long for a diva cut. But to get it like naturally shaped, I guess that would be it. Define my curl pattern and get a cut to where it'll just be like able to fall. I don't know the right terminology for what that's called. Get my natural hair done. I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so I will, I'll pick y'all back up. Once I decide what I'm about to do. Don't ever, ever buy pre-cooked salmon. It's a bourbon glazed salmon. Look at that. You can tell they cooked it like on a barbecue pit or flame broil, whatever. Salmon is already one of those dishes that be hard to, to cook. Cause you gotta literally, it cooks quick and you don't want to overcook it because then it gets dry like this. And it's like some salmon jerky. This is this is beef jerky in but in salmon. Wow. Oh my god, it's so dry. I was so proud of the single girls yesterday. The single girls on social media, I was I was proud of y'all. Usually every year it's a fuck Valentine's Day. These men ain't about nothing. Oh, I'm so sad I'm going to be single forever. This and that. It's either a I hate Valentine's and men's or woe is me. I'm so sad because I'm single on Valentine's Day. Baby, the single girls pulled up their bootstraps and kept it going. I, I love that I did not see many of those posts. Like, yeah. Every year that I've been single on Valentine's Day, it doesn't make me sad. Like, I look at people's posts and I be like, oh, they're so cute together. Oh, he outdid himself. Like, he got her that, like, a live-ass gift. And, oh, he took her on a trip. It's like, I look at them posts and I would be happy for everybody. I didn't look at nobody's Valentine's Day post and be like, oh, God, let me post something negative so people will feel bad about me. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I was proud. I, I, I love that for y'all. The girlies is realizing it's okay to be single on holidays. It's okay. You got yourself. You got your family. It's a new year, so hopefully you're doing something to improve yourself, whether that's trying to get a raise at your job or starting a business, working out, or just getting your mental health together, whatever it is. Like, we don't have to have somebody to complete us. Of course, it's nice. It's an added cherry on top, but you have to be complete within yourself first before you can even bring anybody else into your life so but anyway let me um finish eating this dry this this is like some dry toast why am i putting myself through this i don't know i just need to eat enough to where i'm not hungry and after i go get my hair done i don't want to buy nothing to eat afterwards no 
I might be um, swallowing these words up. <laughs> I might be stopping at Chick-fil-A after I get my hair done. I don't know. But the goal is to not do that. I swear, laundry is like, it's never ending. And I'm just like, how? How have y'all made so much laundry in one week? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand so much laundry your bath towel that you dry off with use it for two days then get a clean one two days then get a clean one so that means at the end of the week there should only be one two there should only be six towels at the end of the week six big towels at the end of the week your clothing that you wear if you wear a t-shirt on the weekend and it's only on your body for two hours, you didn't get any stains on it, you didn't sweat in it, nothing. You can hang that back up in your closet. Your jeans, your, your sweatpants, your hoodies. If you've owned Ethan's winter coat, his winter coat is in this pile. And y'all know we don't have many cold days in Houston. He's only worn that winter coat. He got it for Christmas. He's only worn that winter coat, I think, four times. Why is your winter coat in the dirty clothes pile. I said, why is this in here? Does it have stains on it? Is it does it stink? Does it what what's wrong with it? He was like, nothing. I just want that those responses right there are like in my head, like it's laziness. All these towels, y'all dry off, y'all throw it on the floor in a pile, kick it to the side, and just grab a new one every time. The clothes situation, y'all take it off, y'all throw it on the floor. Instead of checking it out and saying, hmm, is this actually still clean? I can hang this back in my closet. Nope, y'all just taking it off and putting it in the pile. Because y'all know mom's going to wash. You don't want to check it out, see if it's actually dirty and hang it back up in your closet. You want to just throw it in the pile because you know mom's going to wash. It's annoying. It's annoying. I'm trying to remember what age my mom taught us how to do our laundry. My mom taught us at a very early age how to cook how to do laundry, how to wash our own hair, how to curl our own hair. Oh, she taught us like a lot of stuff at an early age because my mom worked two jobs. Like when we woke up in the morning and this is in elementary and middle school. Like when we woke up in the morning, she was already gone at the hospital at work. When we came home from school, she was at work. <laughs> and there were many, many, many times where she was working two jobs. So she would didn't even have time to come home and cook for us. So she would thaw some meat out and be like, you know, just put this in the oven, turn it on this degrees and, and let it cook for two hours. Or she would bring us home fast food or whatever. Anyway, anyway, I got some new Suavitel. I had never smelt this scent before. Y'all know I always get the blue Suavitel to me and makes your clothes smell amazing. I found this one. It's called Suavitel Baby and it smells like baby powder. I got it from Dee Dee's, of course, my favorite store. $1.99. So we're about to use this today today you need a game fling scent beads and your suavitel mm. oh that smells so good okay well i'm trying to be silly with y'all i need to take my shower and get dressed before i'm late to this appointment y'all i'm doing my little skincare routine i just showered i wash my face in the shower sometimes i really don't like doing that because of my lashes but we're in a rush so i wash my face in the shower i did a little scrubby scrub on my face and then i put some of this um just some hydration glow moisturizer but y'all y'all hear some talk in the background that's my girl rochelle rochelle chanel hey girl i have a vlog plan but uh Okay, I'm back. My bad. Um, yeah, that's about to just ring. Um, I had stopped using my Clarins under eye cream for, ooh, up until just like two weeks ago, y'all. Tomorrow makes eight weeks post-op and my nose is still tender. You know, they break bones, cartilage, rearrange stuff. So it's, you have got to be kidding me. Bro, same person, like... If I didn't answer the first time, why would you call me back? Anyway, um, that just gave me a brain fart. I'm just saying all this to say, this stuff really works. I have seen a huge difference when I stopped using it for a month and a half and then I just started back two weeks ago. I've seen a big, big difference. 
Um, I've told you guys, I, this of course is not sponsored. I had just went into the mall. They gave me samples of it and I used it and I was like, wow, I can see a difference on my under eyes. Not for darkness, but just for like lines, fullness. Um, I don't have dark circles, so it's not for that. Let me tell you what it says. It's called Total Eye Lift. Yeah, so it like tightens. Y'all, this stuff is really good. I buy mine off Amazon. It's not cheap. It's, it's a little pricey. For me, y'all know I'm very frugal. Y'all know I'm very frugal. So $90, but this goes a long way. All you need is a tiny little pump. And I really put too much because usually I just put one pump right here and then I scoop it up and then I share it between both eyes. Y'all always ask, your skincare, your skin is so smooth. Your skin is so nice. You look so young. Da, da, da. Baby, add this to your regimen. Okay, this is the outfit that I put on. Just um, I can't remember. JD Sports, I think. I think the top was 25, bottoms were 20. Then I have on my Gucci runners. And then I just put on my tan bag just so we're cohesive. We match. And yeah, we're about to go get this herd in. Okay, y'all just got touched by Certified Touch. Look how pretty. Y'all, this is a closure wig. Mm, certified Touch. Her IG will be on the screen if you guys want to book with her. My second time coming to her, y'all know how I used to do my own wig, so, but I'm, I'm locked in now, so. Mm, got me looking cute. Ready for the weekend. <laughs> when you get your hair done, but walk into this Houston humidity. Oh my God. But this color is beautiful, y'all. This unit is from a girl sent this to me when I was doing um, like PO box unboxings. So a girl sent me this about a year ago. She's a Houston wig maker, or let me say was a Houston wig maker. I don't know if she's still um, doing units because when I took this wig out of the box and I did give her a shout out. When I got this wig, I gave her a shout out and I showed this wig to you guys. I just didn't have it applied. I like showed y'all her Instagram, the packaging. But when I decided to get this wig installed and I dropped it off to my stylist, the card that was in the box, I looked up her Instagram and her website and they're both gone. So it's called Scented Beauty. That's where this is from. I don't know if you guys can Maybe you guys can find her, but like I said, the website and the Instagram page were gone. So maybe she changed the name. Cause like I said, I did get this wig like a year ago and I'm just now getting it installed. But um, yeah, it's beautifully crafted and that's sad. I don't know, it's, it just makes me sad when I, um, when companies were around and then you go back to check like their Instagram or whatever and it's like not there anymore. It's just like, damn, that sucks. It's like it's so hard for small businesses period and then when you just invest so much money i know like starting a, a business like a hair business especially investing money and in finding the perfect vendor the right kind of hair then crafting the wigs you know so it just kind of sucks but shout out to scented beauty if you're watching this or still around thank you for this beautiful unit okay i'm hungry i don't know what i'm going to eat or where Ooh, I was about to say Whole Foods, Whole Foods, but it is 2.30. <sighs> Too many people have breathed on the food at this point. Y'all know I like going to Whole Foods between like 11.30 and kind of like 11.30 and 12.30 is like the best time. And then they switch out their food, like replenish everything, like for dinner time around 4.30. I don't know what I want. Maybe a grilled chicken sandwich and a salad. We're at Panda Express. I don't know if y'all knew. Oh, oh, that's a tight turn. That's a tight turn. That's what my nigga be telling me. <laughs> Let me stop. Um. Yeah, at Panda Express, you don't have to get your meat over rice or noodles. If you're doing low carb, you can get it over top of vegetables and their vegetables are so good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get teriyaki chicken or maybe shrimp. 
over top of their vegetables. Their walnut shrimp is so good. Hello, I'd like a bowl. What's their size? Um, the super greens. And then the entree is gonna be the grilled uh, teriyaki chicken. Mm -hmm. So one bowl and teriyaki sauce. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well, she was nice. Oh, that's my alarm for Ashton. She almost hit a pole. Get rid of some of this cash. I don't like having cash on me. I don't know why. I'm weird. Eight. Fifty-five. Yeah. Eight fifty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so Ashton gets out of school in about 40 minutes, and I'm pretty close by her school, so I think I'm gonna eat in front of Target, then go on Target and do my return, and then pick her up. I already started eating. I, I literally have eaten more than half of it, but this is what it looks like. That's the um, grilled chicken. Then these are the super greens, which are broccoli, cabbage, there's kale. And I think green beans also. But yeah, it's really good, really light. Just get the bowl size so you're not like super, super full. You're just satisfied. So I went to Target and I even had time for a car wash. Even though it's nasty and gloomy outside, I'm like, I'm going to take advantage of my $60 a month that I'm paying. So I did a little car wash at Mr. Car Wash. Y'all, this scent right here. This scent right here it is called rose thorn it is the best and longest lasting I've, I've i've shown you guys this fragrance before it's been months it may have even been a year ago this is the longest lasting air freshener tree i have ever used and if you guys know then you know i have a whole thing of air freshener trees look at all these okay rose thorn when you see it buy it it's it's the perfect in between of masculine and feminine it just smells so good and it lasts so long okay rose thorn rose thorn rose thorn don't get apple cinnamon don't get peach don't get strawberry even new car scent it's 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 rose thorn okay Okay, y'all, I just seasoned my wings. My vegetables are cut. I'm gonna put mushroom, I'm about to say mushroom dressing. What is this? Uh, low sodium mushroom soup. I'm putting this on top of here. I always put something on top of my baked chicken, whether I drizzle evil on top or I use Italian dressing. Sometimes I use mustard depending on the what type of chicken that I want and then so this time I'm gonna do mushroom and I'm gonna do a little bit of chicken broth too and then we're gonna do a little bit of rice a little bit of spinach we got some leftover beans from last night I might heat those up I don't know yet it don't look like nothing but it's gonna taste good okay that's gonna cook for about 45 minutes to an hour I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice on now just because I'm in here and it's in a rice cooker. Best investment you can make for cooking your rice. It cooks it perfectly every time. It's not gonna burn it. It's not gonna, I'm about to say it's not gonna overcook it. If you add too much liquid, then it's gonna be too mushy, but rice cooker, mm, perfect rice every time. We are about to do unboxing, not unboxing. I keep messing that up. We're about to do a haul. I got some things from Amazon. I'm watching Brie. Pretty Brie, M-U-A. I love her, she's so cute. She's so cute and soft-spoken. <clears throat> but anyway, um, yeah, let's do a little Amazon haul. It's not gonna be much, y'all. So bear with me. Oh, this is not what I was expecting in this bag. Oh, I bought some Ghost Bond. Why was this little thing $20? Do you know I assumed that my hairstylist was using ghost bond on my hair. Remember y'all, wig was on my head for a week and a half and it was still hard to take it off. I just assumed she used ghost bond because in Amazon, I just typed in lace glue 
this and another one were the only ones that popped up. But I asked her today, I said, what kind of glue do you use? She said, Erica J. I said, so did I just waste my money on Ghost Bond? I know Ghost Bond is good, popular, but I don't know how good they are. Yeah, she uses the Erica J, so. Jane or J, I don't really know what she said. Next, let's see if I can just open this with my hands. Oh, oh, oh. So I follow this girl named Brianna. She's also a YouTuber influencer. Her name is spelled like B-R-I-X-A-N-A. -A. Brianna and on her Instagram, she showed this LED light sun visor. So as you can see, it like lights up, it's huge. Yeah, it was like, I, I, I was like, oh, I need that. Expeditiously, right now, she shared the link and I was like, I need that. Now, cause y'all know the sun visor mirror, it be like this big, it feel like a little kid. I'm like, I got a big old round face. Like hey, I need, I need a bigger wide mirror and I need light, good lighting. This is gonna do the trick. Ooh. You know, black folks don't like reading instructions. Oh, look, what's this? Okay. What's that? Okay. Ow. Okay, so there's little buttons at the bottom. So let's try this out. <gasps> y'all can't even see. Oh, my God. Hold up. Uh-uh, y'all can't see. Dang it. Just know the lights are changing, y'all. White light, yellow light. <gasps> oh, yes, baby. Now, let's see what this other button right here does. Let's see. Oh, okay. So that's on and off. And this one is white, white light and yellow light. And I guess this is how you strap it onto your sun visor. Baby, game changer. Game changer. And it came with a charger. So it charges up with a C-type charger. Okay. And then lastly... What do I always say, y'all? I always say, if you can buy designer and you could shop at these department stores with these billionaires, and when I say that, department stores with billionaires, Target, Walmart, it doesn't have to be Gucci, Fendi, whatever. If we are shopping at these billion dollar stores, we can support small business. My homegirl, she always asks to send me stuff and I tell her no. No, 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 I want to pay for it. I want to pay, I want to support your business so your business can keep going and growing. She did not ask me to tag her or nothing. She ain't asked me to open this on camera or nothing. You just always, always support your friends, guys. That's number one. If they wanna give you something for free, me personally, I say no. I wanna spend my money with them because I know how hard it is to keep a small business going. Just like I told you guys, this wig was sent to me and the girl, I don't see her, you know, her business page anymore. So it is so hard to keep a small business growing. It is even harder to keep a small black business growing. It's even harder to keep a small black woman owned business going. So if I can support when I can, I'm going to do it. So my homegirl, Auntie Tapiro, y'all know I have a lot from her. I have sweatsuits. I have leggings. Um, I have hats. I have a lot from her line. T-shirts, multiple T-shirts. But she came out with this two-piece set, and I said, girl, I need that in my life. How cute. Y'all know this is South Gina. With the joggers. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they thick. They thick. Oh, and they stretch. Okay. What size did I get? I think I got an extra. Yeah, extra large. Cute. I'm going to put her IG and her website across the screen. In case you guys want to shop or if you don't want to shop at least y'all can follow her page you know you can support support doesn't have to be monetary support can just be a shout out support can just be following an instagram page um there's multiple ways you can support because i know everybody not financially able to buy a t-shirt to buy some sweats to buy a whatever i had so just rem always remember you can support in different ways so yeah Y'all, I was so thirsty to put this on. <laughs> I was about to go to my room and chill while the food was cooking, but I was like, no, I want to try it out right now. Moment of truth. Oh, 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 my car 
car selfies at night. <gasps> my car selfies at night are about to be lit. Ooh, yes. Oh, I love that. Okay. Like I said, it's going to be linked down below. Y'all just want to have a really short, hopefully short. Y'all know I'm long with it. But a short discussion. I just got off the phone with my good sis, Jennifer, uh, J. Kareen, here on YouTube. Um, I just want to talk about upcoming YouTubers, influencers. I should have had her push my lace down a little bit further because I can still see my tan. I'm sorry, I get sidetracked. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> I know what I want to say, but it's like, how do I go into it? Um, when you start, I think you need to do research. You need to look on YouTube, YouTube University, and do your research before you just up and say, hey, I want to be a blogger. Hey, I want to be a blogger. I want to be a blogger. I want to be a blogger. Um, me and her get so many DMs that are just, help me start my YouTube. How do you start a YouTube? Can you help me get my YouTube going? It's such a odd question to me for the simple fact what do you I, like I, I'm not I don't offer like YouTube classes neither does Jennifer so I don't know what that even means just my my answer is gonna be pick up your phone and start you don't need an expensive camera you don't need expensive lighting I used my iPhone which was I think an iPhone 7 at the time 6 or 7 I used my iPhone you just start filming I, I'm not I can't tell you through DM do this 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 I, I just, I'm not a teacher. Like I just, I, I don't do that. But if you ask me a question like, hey, my footage is uploading blurry or, hey, what app do you use to make your thumbnails? Or, hey, um, how long do you think my first video should be? Questions like that are like good questions to ask. I don't mind answering one or two questions, but a general help me start my YouTube do you even really want to do YouTube? Because it just seems like a lot of people who come and just want somebody to tell them the recipe. What are you doing this for? Do you Are you watching other YouTubers and influencers and thinking, I want that life? I've actually had a lot of people. I should have I said this in the beginning. I had a lot of people that say, I want to travel. I want your lifestyle. Help me start a YouTube. I didn't get here overnight and I didn't get here from trying to get the recipe or following somebody like <sighs> when I started YouTube guys and I'm not going to get into my whole journey but you guys know I started just trying on clothes out my closet because that's something I already like to do if I went shopping and found a good deal I want to try it on for you guys and tell you guys I only spent three dollars on this four dollars on this a dollar on this I already had my plan made up in my mind, like this is what I'm gonna do. And anything that I did not know, I Googled it, I looked it up on YouTube. Anything is on YouTube. Filming setups, how to do try on hauls, how to edit, how to make thumbnails, how to find music, everything is on YouTube. So don't think getting into YouTube that you're just gonna automatically just start making a bunch of money. You're gonna start working with a bunch of sponsors. You're gonna be able to quit your job, go on vacations every month. It took time for me to get where I am at. I April of this year makes five years that I have been doing YouTube consistently. And that is the thing. It sounds cliche. Oh, my meat's done. <laughs> it sounds cliche, but consistency is key consistency pushes you up in the algorithm consistency shows your followers those people who do come to you in the very beginning shout out to those people who have been with me from day one from april of 2018 shout out to y'all thank y'all so much people who come to you from day one you got to keep them entertained you got to keep them engaged so you got to find your niche like a niche niche i don't know i don't know how to really say the word sorry but i just guys like don't think that you see me or Jay Kareen or any other YouTuber that you can just slide in their DM and we're going to just spend an hour 
two, three hours, because you can't even, I can't tell you everything in two, three hours, that we're gonna just spend an entire hour telling you what to do. You have got to do your research. You have got to put in the footwork. You have got to do trial and error. Like there's just so much. I'm thinking about actually doing an updated um, YouTube video about YouTube, <laughs> about what I did to get sponsorships. I, I do have a video, like I said, on my channel. It was about my journey, but I do, I think I am gonna do a dedicated video just talking about how to get sponsorships how to um, price yourself. Um, I'm not the gatekeeper. I'm not one of those that's like hush mouth and quiet about it. I think there's a lane for everybody. I think there's enough money for everybody. There's enough sponsors out here for everybody. I'm in competition with nobody but myself. I'm trying to make more money than the year that I made before and the year before that. I'm even probably going to tell you guys how much money I made in 2022, how much money I made in 2023, the year before that, because I'm not a gatekeeper. And the, the reason why I never felt like it's something so secretive about how much youtubers or influencers make is because let's say you are a college student and you want to know how much an engineer makes you can google that you can you can google how much a grocery store manager makes you can google how much a pediatrician makes in your area how much a flight attendant makes so those professions you can google that pay for influencers, it's so hush hush. Every nobody wants to tell how much they make. Nobody wants to tell how to price yourself. Nobody like it's everybody's so secretive about it, and it's just like, what are we gatekeeping? Like I don't understand. Other professions, you can you can Google that, you know. So anyway, I don't know if y'all can hear that beeping. <laughs> My other timer is going off, and it's gonna annoy the hell out of me. But I just. That's just a little word for you guys who are considering getting um, into this profession. Um, it takes money to make money. It's going to take a lot of time and effort from you. You're not going to be making money right off the bat. You might not make money in the first year, the second year, the third year. Everybody grows at different rates. It's different for everybody. You can't look at my journey and say, man, I wish I, I'm like Gina right off the bat. No, there's people who have been doing this longer than me. Who aren't where I am there's people who have been doing it way less than me and who have way exceeded me so everybody's journey is different don't look at my channel don't look at Jay Kareem's channel thinking I want to travel with them I want to quit my job I want to do that so I want to be a youtuber today do you really want to be a youtuber do you really know what you want to do on YouTube do you have the personality do you have a, a, a cool hobby that you want to show? Because not everybody, you don't have to come on YouTube and be a blogger. If there's something you already love doing, like if you do hair, if you cook, if you are a mixologist, if you are um, a dental student and you want to vlog that journey or a pre-med student, you vlog that journey, find what works for you. Don't just think because you're watching somebody who you like enjoy watching and that I want to do that. Okay. I hope I worded that wrong. I don't, I didn't, I don't want to offend anybody. I really, I really don't, but I just want, it's like a reality check of, I'm not going to open my DM and you say, Gina, I want to travel like you and quit my job. Um, teach me how to vlog. What? Now I do have to, in that video where I did my YouTube journey and I was telling people you can follow this page, this page, and I had linked them, excuse me, in my description box. I need to do, I need to find some updated people because there are YouTubers out here who offer classes. I believe Naturally Sunny still offers her, her class. I think. Don't quote me on that. Naturally Sunny, if you watching this, girl, let me know. <laughs> but I know she was one of the ones that I had mentioned in that video a year ago. Um, it was some other ones, Daquana White. I don't know if they're still doing it. I could be wrong. It's 2023. Like I said, I made that video a year ago. I'll try to find some updated people who are still offering mentorship and mentorship. You got to pay for it. That's what I told you guys. You got it. It take money to make money. If you're not willing to pay for a mentorship, then you got to be dedicated to spending hours and hours and hours. Like I did doing my own research. You know, I got it out the mud. <laughs> 
So anyways, I do appreciate all of you guys who watch me, who have been with me from the beginning. Even those of you who just are finding my channel and you like my channel, you entertained by whatever the hell it is. I just, you know, I'm just somebody who keeps it real, who keeps it a buck. I'm not going to be fake or fronting or whatever. I just, I am who I am. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people be in the comment section and be like, Gina, you hurt my feelings when I said X, Y, and Z. And I'd be like, girl, don't let anything that I say affect you. Who am I? I ain't nobody. Anything that I say, don't let it affect you. I, this is literally just my opinions, which should have no bearing on your life. This is just who I am, you know? So, hate it or love it, I appreciate you guys. I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm just real. I'm just my real authentic self. So, I appreciate my day ones. I appreciate my day twos. And I appreciate my yesterdays. Everybody who, no matter when you found me, I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys so much. And if you want to get into this YouTube world... It's a lot, okay, y'all. It's a lot. <laughs> we might make it look easy, but baby, it's a lot. It's a very fun, rewarding job. It is. It really is. But there are days where we have cried. I have wanted to throw my computer. Me and Jennifer just on the phone. <laughs> like, girl, let me tell you why is such and such happening. Girl, well, let me tell you why such and such happening. I done spent four hours editing and all my footage is gone now. Like, it's, it's, it's not that... Okay. Anyway, let me get my meat. Let me get my chicken and, and, and get dinner ready because it's, it's late. All right, bye. Okay, dinner is served and I got my agua. Sorry I don't plate my food all pretty. I just throw it on there because guess what? It's all going down the same hatchet. Bon appetit. My hair looks crazy, but guess what? It's okay. Happy Thursday. I'm just now picking you guys up late in the day hey what today's day consisted of um taking the kids to school i went to the gym for training and went to panera and got something to eat the kids had a half a day of school today so i picked up ashton at like 12 30 picked up ethan around 1 30 uh stopped and got lunch and well of course in between that time i came home from the gym showered Took a nap, <laughs> of course, y'all know my midday naps are mess. Ugh. My midday naps are mandatory. Okay, if I can't get one every day, I'm at least gonna get a midday nap every other day. And now here we are at home. Ashton is making snowballs. She put crushed ice. Show them, show them, show them. <laughs> she put walking outside and it's cold, y'all. All right, ready? She put crushed ice in the blender show, show and them. turned it into snowballs. I saw this on TikTok. She saw on TikTok, of course. Oh, yeah. TikTok. Oh, that. <laughs> Ma'am. Why are you just throwing them down? I'm, I'm so they can the tree see. Because look, I, I, got, I got it on the tree. Well, look. let them be able to see. They're not going to be able to see it. Oh. Lord Jesus. Okay, twice strike <laughs> okay. out. That's okay. it. That's it. Yeah, no, there's three. Okay, well, anyway. Throw it on the ground so they can the just ground, see. Yeah. Lord. This is what we do as Texans, Houstonians. Oh, we gotta make our own snow. I'm gonna make a big one. Cause I know how to make more. I'm going back in the house. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna oh, go at, 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 at here at the wood, at the wood, right? Come on, throw it. Three. I'm tired, I'm cold. Okay, don't do that again. <laughs> don't, no, seriously, don't do that. Cause that's our neighbor's fence. Don't do that. <laughs> the maids come in about 45 minutes. Yeah, just a boring Thursday. This is why I, I ain't pick y'all up because it's like there's absolutely nothing to see here. Absolutely nothing. This is how my hair looks the next day. Still not happy that I have too much, so much forehead showing. Y'all know, cut my forehead in half. Wigs, cut my forehead in half. That's how I want it every time. And I ain't, I ain't, ugh. I'm about to make some more glasses. Oh, I do have other exciting news. Well, exciting for myself. <laughs> Y'all know Givenchy has those wide leg, sharp, wide leg, wide calf shark boots. Y'all remember when they first dropped, I got them and I was screaming and going crazy. I filmed it and then they canceled my order 24 hours later. Yeah. Anyway, they had my size in stock again. Y'all, that's been like, ooh, 
that was back in September, I want to say, when they first dropped, September, October maybe. It was the end of 2022. Anyways, they've been sold out in my size ever since. I said, let me just check. I usually check probably, I ain't gonna lie, I'm like obsessed about it. I usually check probably like every two or three days. Let me, let me just go see. They seem to have like size 36, 37, and 38 like always on deck with those wide ones, but they never have the bigger sizes. I checked today, it says size 40 was available. I hurried up and checked out. So I got the, of course, the email that says, thank you for your orders, processing, blah, blah, blah. So we'll see if I actually get it. So fingers crossed. I will, of course, do an unboxing and a whole try on because y'all know the classic Givenchy shark boots are made for people with small calves. I watched this review of this lady who bought the, the largest size in the regular ones. And she was a pretty, I would say like an average size woman. I, she looked to be average size build. So not skinny, not thick, just average size. And she had meat hanging over the side of the, the boots. Like literally it gave her calf, like y'all know when y'all put on jeans that's too tight around your waist, what's it called, mushroom top? When 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 it when it falls over, that's what her calf was giving in them boots. I said, "Oh no, I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a thick legend over here. So if it's if it's tight on her average build on this big body beans, it ain't gonna work." So yes, I've been a bad blocker all day. We're just leaving from basketball practice. I got some work done, so I have not picked y'all up. Y'all, Ethan talking to me. As soon as I put the camera, he wanna call my name. What? When I get to it, I can because my keys are in my purse. Um, that's where I always park. Oh my God. Anyways, I was just checking in with y'all. I think I'm about to put in a to go order at Chili's. Oh, it's cold, y'all. It's cold. For the next two days, the temperature is going down to the 30s, highs of the uh, low 50s. And then on Monday, it's going to be back in the mid 80s. What the hell? Are you gonna show them what? Y'all, so we're just getting home. Mom, I'm at the eating our. Go ahead, baby. Chili's. I'm eating some soup and I got their, their guilt free meal. It's like a guilt free steak and beans and rice. Beans were nasty, rice was nasty. Yeah, so I ate the steak, ate some of the kids' french fries, and I'm eating soup. Look at her. I always want to be the center of attention. And the innocent, oh, yeah, I, know. Uh, I know the dance you're doing. What? And the I don't know the words. They gave us a free meal. When I seen it, when she was like, check your bag to make sure everything's in there. When I seen this, I looked, I'm like, hold on, Ashen. I looked, I'm like, what is this white stuff? I'm like, maybe that's the rice or maybe that's the sauce on the steak or something. I get home, I open it up and it's chicken pasta. Y'all know, I don't know if y'all ever noticed, I don't order pasta. I don't eat pasta. Like I don't, I'm not a pasta girl. So I don't know who, mm, I don't know someone's who's gonna eat missing this. their order. Someone's missing their Someone order. is missing their order. Yeah. Does it have a name on it? There's a sticker on here. Guest. Oh, yep. It's Uber Eats because it says UBR Alicia. Ooh, Alicia. We got your, we got your, we food, got your food. And it's a lot of ways because I am not eating it. Girl. I don't like the way this looks. Y'all. Why do y'all put huge chunks of what are these green onions on here? Somebody's gonna say, Gina, that looks so good. Let me see. I don't know. I'm just not a big pasta person. Yeah, that was nasty. <laughs> All right. Okay, y'all, we got a sheet in package. I don't even remember what I ordered. I kind of do remember what I ordered, but I kind of don't at the same time. I think I ordered accessories. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these are liners. Y'all know she ain't got everything. These are liners for your um, air fryer. I buy all of my liners from Shein. This is a hundred and I think they're like $2.50, something like that. Yeah. 
then I've been wanting, oh my God, these are massive. I've been wanting some big chunky earrings. I think these might be too chunky. So I got a silver pair. Actually, this is like perfect. The silver pair is perfect. Let me take this out. Uh, these are absolutely massive. Well, oh my to, God. You just gotta put them on with a fit. You just gotta put it on like you put it on. Put that thing together, huh? Mm hmm Put that thing together like you do. So I think this would be cute with like my hair pulled back, but y'all know I don't wear my hair pulled back. Just wear your hair down. I do wear my hair down, but I think that would be like too much. Let me, whatever. They were $2, so I'm not like I'm taking them back. Then the last pair is just a miniature pair of thick. You can see how much smaller they are than these. Anyway. Uh, what else did I get? A pair of booties. Oh, that heel is short, short. It did not look that short in the um when the model was wearing it. Well, that model Hold on. Short. No, the heel did not look that short. They're just some denim boots. Can y'all see? The color is coming out really light on camera. They are light denim, but they're not that light. Anyway, some denim boots. They don't stretch. We'll see how they fit. But it's a little kitten heel, almond toe. Yeah, add these to the co my collection of boots that I probably won't wear. Okay. Yep, so that's my haul, y'all. We're turning it back. And in my last video, you call me a hater. But first of all, right now, I'm, I'm a non hater because I'm telling you to put it on, and that's not even a hater. So, y'all tell mom that I have different emotions because. And I'm watching you, what you just did. Are you realizing what you just did? I'm watching what you. What did I do? You knocked all that ice onto the ground. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Spending the weekend with Mars, it's a big deal. So oh. thank you. That's down for a minute. And diversity. I'm watching Aaliyah Face and her trip with Nars. Um, yeah, and I'm also multitasking. I'm buying outfits on Shein. I'm like, I need vacation outfits. I have a plethora, a slew of trips coming up. Back to back to back to back. Like, it's nuts, y'all. But anyways, I'm happy. I'm excited. Um, yeah. I'm actually going to be planning a trip also with the kids next I think next, was it next? No, not next month. Was it April? I gotta look back at the school calendar and see when they have days off back to back. So I need to plan for that. Cause I don't wanna, I wanna take them on a trip during the school year and I also wanna take them on one in the summer. So yeah, so I'll be planning that soon. Um, I'm about to put some nails on too. Once I do my sheet in order. Yeah, those are the nails. But y'all, she ain't got so much stuff. I'm so sad. The reason why I'm on the Shein website, those denim boots that I showed you guys, I love them. I love them. They are so cute, like so fly. Y'all know I'm a Texas girl, I'm a country girl. So like denim on denim, like that's me, that's my vibe. We, that's what we do down south, okay? So they're too big. I usually wear a size 10 in boots, a 10 or a 40 in boots and in shoes and sandals and sneakers, I wear a size nine or a 39. So I got my normal size 40 because it's a boot and it's pointy toe. That mother was like got three extra, four extra inches in the front. I'm like, okay, I need to order my exact size, an actual nine. So I've already printed out my shipping label. It's in a package to go back. So I'm, I put the size nine in my basket because y'all know stuff on Shein, it sells out like really quick. Things that you wouldn't even think would sell out like that. I'm like, don't nobody want no denim boots. Don't nobody want this. Don't nobody want that. And then you go back. You put it in your cart. You wait two days and you go back and it's gone. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And then me and my boyfriend, we're going to watch an episode of You on FaceTime together. Since he's not here, we'll probably be seeing each other tomorrow. Not probably. I know we will be seeing each other tomorrow. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to watch an episode of you on FaceTime if I don't hurry up. But, um, yeah, that's my night, y'all. That's my night. I would end the vlog here. Should I end the vlog here? I might. Maybe I'll come back and show y'all these nails. 
or should I just end it?